Terry, you said that this administration likes nuance, and that's kind of their modus operandi. Is it working? Um, I think it. Uh, I think it creates a great deal of muddle. Uh, you know, if you you draw the line from Afghanistan through uh, through Ukraine and the back and forth that preceded Ukraine from the administration uh, on to China and everything else. Uh, you know, I think they take too literally Churchill's adage that jaw jaw is better than war war. Churchill would never have said jaw jaw alone will get you. Uh, uh, you know, well, if it's not getting your result, uh, you should keep jaw jawing. So uh, you know, they they are uh, precariously close to running out the string in a lot of places. And as uh, you've pointed out in the show this morning, as uh, Bloomberg Terminal points out this morning, uh, you know, the, the we have, we now have more rattling from Iran on a nuclear program. Uh, and that among, that's a lot of things, but that's uh, that's a lot of uh, U.S. feckless back and forth over 10 years to try to make the uh, make that not happen. What do you what do you make of that, Terry, actually? The fact that the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the U.S. is pressuring allies not to go after Iran after news that they have uh, gotten weapons grade uranium and that they could potentially have the capabilities for a number of warheads. What do you make of the news that the U.S. administration wants there to be a real kind of uh, pullback from addressing that? Well, I hope, you know, I, I hope the journals uh, not got it completely correct. Uh, and I say that with respect to their reporters. Uh, I, I would like to see coupled with, you know, sort of restraint towards Iran, the idea that uh, there will be consequences for any particular action and, uh, and other acts that uh, continue to uh, surround Iran and, uh, and, and hamstring it from, uh, from doing many of the things that it and its proxies are doing in the Middle East. Uh, but, you know, if the journal is, is correct, then I think it's another situation where nuance, is a little, uh, nuance and mixed signals are getting out of control and contributing to uh, the diciness of the situation, frankly. Well, there's a lot of mixed signals when it comes to Iran in this administration. They verbally say they are enforcing, say, oil sanctions. But when you look at the data, you do see a lot of oil still leaving the shores of Iran. Terry, do you understand what this administration's policy on Iran actually is? Um, no, I don't.